Hello, kings and queens. E. Ray Taronic here, master weaver of mystery suspense thrillers, as well as broadcaster of astrology. First, I'd like to thank you for being here with me today, lending me your ears, your eyes, and your time. I know it is valuable. Therefore, I will be sharing valuable information with you that will help you to navigate the week's upcoming challenges, take advantage of the assistance and opportunities aspecting you, and even be able to look forward to the blessings. Now, there's a few things I'd love to talk to you about, but first, I'd love for you to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It lets me know you appreciate the content I am putting out. Deadliest Intuition is everywhere books are sold. My newest psychological thriller is waiting for you to read and review. I would greatly appreciate it. So go on and pick it up, check it out, and let me know what you think about it. In addition to that, there are a couple of other novels that are releasing this week that I'd like to tell you about. Perfectly Fine Christmas by LaGill Hunt releases on the 26th. You can pick it up. It is the perfect time to get it for a friend or one of your loved ones as a stocking stuffer for Christmas. Make sure you leave a review, of course. Now, Stephanie M. Freeman's novel, Season of the Blood, also released yesterday. So don't hesitate to pick up that murder mystery, <laughs> psychological thriller. It is also available everywhere books are sold. If you like to live an intentional life, you can check out the Intentional Life Morning Show on Clubhouse from 8.30 a.m. to 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time every Monday and Friday. Now, Diamond's World is back this week discussing All the King's Men by Christian Keys at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I believe that's on Thursday. So if you haven't binged watched that series yet, dive in so you can join the discussion on Clubhouse. Last but not least, ICU Reading and Chatting Book Club has Freestyle Friday every Friday. If you'd like to participate as an artist, don't hesitate to contact Ebony Evans. She is the president of ICU Reading and Chatting Book Club and is available via Facebook. Let's get into the astrology. Hello, Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Rising Sign people. Eure Taronic here with the astrology portion of your tarot reading for the week of October 24th. Now, we'll start with Monday because Sunday I type out uh, on my Facebook page at author Eure Taronic. If you want to check it out there, you're more than welcome to. Now, Monday, the sun is in Scorpio at two degrees. That's a day that favors study. You could find yourself working or researching or even thinking in your solitude. Success can be had, but you have to put that imagination to work, that brain, that cre those creative juices. If you have any aspects in Scorpio between zero and five degrees, you can be expecting this, um, these energies to be affecting you. Now, the moon in Gemini at 26 degrees trines Libra and Mars at 26 degrees in the morning. This is about a blessing showing up to help you overcome a challenge. Someone could find the time to assist you where a partner could not. Now, this is bringing you some type of blessed assistance where you've been having challenges with money or personal resources. And the help is coming through career or whatever it is you master. If you have any placements between 23 and 29 degrees of Gemini or Libra, then this applies for you. So you can look forward to that blessing. Now on Tuesday, the sun is in Scorpio at three degrees. Let your artistry shine, okay? You could be recognized. If you have any placements between uh, zero and six degrees of Scorpio, um, in fact, if you have any uh, placements between zero and six degrees of uh, Scorpio, well, this is for your communication. So somebody could communicate uh, recognition to you. Um, it could be a sibling. It could be someone in your networks of people or even a neighbor. Okay. But if you have that placement, you can expect that to come your way. Now, 
the moon in Cancer at seven degrees aspects Saturn in Sagittarius at seven degrees. A restriction or responsibility to home and family looks to be aspecting, and you could be choosing between friends and family obligations. Um, actually, for you, the choice is going to be where you have restrictions and responsibilities with shared finances, endings, new beginnings, and things that you're passionate about. It could even pertain to sex and intimacy. And the restrictions there are kind of clashing with friends and social groups, okay? So, and, and the goals you mean to accomplish there. So you could have other obligations with, uh, you know, shared finances that you have to take care of. You could even actually owe a friend some money, you know, or have to do something for some money. But anyway, you could have obligations with something you're passionate about. And then you have on the other end, uh, it aspecting or clashing with, oh, no. Actually, let me take that back. I'm sorry. Aquarius is your area of work, health, daily routines, and where you are of service to other people. So this is where your restrictions and responsibilities are. I apologize. Okay, so with those restrictions and responsibilities being there, and then you have friends, goals, and social groups as well. So you could be either choosing to hang out with friends or choosing to work and be of service to others or go to work or you could have an obligation to a friend to even be of service to them okay but this restriction and responsibility is being placed on you and it is affecting any placements in cancer or Aquarius between 4 and 10 degrees now Venus and Sagittarius at 20 degrees squares Neptune and Pisces at 20 degrees dreams, delusions about love, money, or even uh, good times, you know, uh, can surface, uh, you know, sparks of inspiration while you're out having fun is what I mean by that. Maybe you're just, uh, maybe you're actually not imagining things. You know, there could be a charlatan in the mix as it pertains to home and family, okay? Um, and they're actually aspecting your relationships. So some relationship in home and family could be clashing with you, um, could be causing you to have some delusions about love or money, or they could have delusions about your money, okay, or your love relationship. So just be mindful that if you have placements in Sagittarius or Pisces between 17 and 23 degrees, this is aspecting for you. The moon in Cancer will square Chiron and Aries at nine degrees. A healing is needed. Just be careful to attain it in a nonviolent way. Just, you know, make sure you're, you know, not being too aggressive because this is about your area of friends, goals, and social groups. And the healing is coming to your shared finances, endings, new beginnings, things you're passionate about, even sex and intimacy. Okay, so while there is that has been that square there between uh, friends and social groups and things like that and your shared finances and things you're passionate about and it just, you know, seems to be clashing or doesn't seem to be working, there's healing there that will be directly aspected at nine degrees on uh, that day. So if you have placements, like I said, in Cancer or Aries between six to 12 degrees, this is aspecting for you. Now, the moon will try and Pallas in Pisces as well on Tuesday at that nine degrees. This is the same day. A blessing comes to home and family because of your efforts or your talents. Fighting an injustice or simply protecting another can be just what the universe ordered. Okay, now this is your area of uh, friends, goals, and social groups, and a blessing coming to you because of your talents because you showcase your talents, maybe even within a social group, okay? And this is about a uh, relationship actually helping you to accomplish goals, maybe even because of your talents, okay? On the other side of things, uh, you could be fighting an injustice, um, protecting a partner, um, you know, fighting this injustice within a social group or a social atmosphere, you know, you're out with friends and you take up for one of your friends, that could be happening as well. If you have placements in Capricorn, in Cancer or Pisces between six and 12 degrees. Now on Wednesday, 
the sun in Scorpio at four degrees, um, it really says that tower moments, you know, it, they can't happen, you know, because of hatred or rash behavior. You must be well prepared or your plans could fail and fall to the wayside. Having insurance is suggested at this degree. And for you, Scorpio is your area of communication, siblings, short distance travel, your networks of people. And there is something there, uh, the, the areas that clash that area for you are work, health, daily routines, and where you are of service to others, which is your area of Aquarius and your area of secrets, sacrifice, solitude, and closure, which, and spirituality as well, which is your area of Leo. So that being said, if you have any aspects between, or if you have any placements between one and seven degree of Scorpio, Aquarius, or Leo, you can see this hatred coming about with people, uh, with the, your networks of people, maybe even a sibling, a neighbor, someone you're of service to, it's people in the background gossiping about you, just someone really trying to uh, hamper or uh, put a damper on your success or your plans. You, could, you should also watch out for rash behavior on your part communicating without thinking um, because you're upset when you're talking to a neighbor, a sibling, or someone in your networks of people, or even someone at work or that you're of service to. Be very, very careful of that. Because it's aspecting um, uh, work and uh, travel and things like that, I would advise you to have insurance on your vehicle and uh, you know, and things like that, okay? Um, bodily insurance, all of that stuff, okay? Um, not, you know, putting that out there, just saying because it is aspecting your health and it's aspecting travel and everything and aspecting insurance at this, this degree, you want to make sure you have that, okay? Now, the moon in Cancer will trine Scorpio and Vesta at 19 degrees on Wednesday. And this is a blessing coming to you because of a commitment or someone's devotion. Success can be had. OK, if you have placements in Cancer or in Scorpio between 16 and I'd say about 22 degrees, you can expect to see some type of blessing coming to you uh, through or by way of friends, social groups, goals being accomplished uh, and communicated to you. Maybe even you're a sibling, someone in your networks of people or a neighbor is helping you out because they feel devoted to you. So success can really be had with this blessing. Now, the moon in Cancer at 21 degrees will aspect Venus and Sagittarius. Be careful if you're out having a good time. Keep it fun. Try not to overspend. This is about friends, goals, and social groups. And you kind of maybe um, overdoing it with uh, home and family. Maybe you're even going out with your family to go out with your their friends or your friends to have fun. And maybe this is a goal you've been wanting to accomplish, you know, to hang out. Uh, you have a chance to garner some shared finances or maybe spend some spend some money <laughs> since finance is aspected. Um, spend some money here. You have the opportunity to have a good time here. You also have the opportunity to delve into some pleasure pursuits. So all of this is definitely aspecting you if you have placements in Cancer or Sagittarius between, I would say, mm, 19, 19 uh, yeah, about 19 and 24 degrees, something like that, okay? But keep it fun, okay? Um, and don't overdo it because the South Node is in Sagittarius. Now, the moon in Cancer will try Neptune in Pisces at 20 degrees. A spark of insight can be a blessing to you. This is about dreams, illusions, intuition, okay? Now, that being said, you definitely have um, blessings coming to you because of your friends, a goal being accomplished, maybe even social groups, where the blessing is coming through your relationships, Maybe it's a blessing of insight. Maybe one of your friends clues you in on something. Either way, it's a blessing nonetheless. The moon in Cancer will be opposite Jupiter in Aquarius at 22 degrees. Luck shines on this degree with the help of another. 
if you have placements in Aquarius or Cancer between, I'd say, 19 and uh, 25 degrees. Yeah, yeah, Cancer or Aquarius between 19 and 25 degrees. Some lucky opportunity or assistance is aspecting you for friends, goals, and social groups. You know, somebody's helping you for a goal to be accomplished. Um, they're helping you at work. They're helping you in health. They're being of service to you or, uh, you know, helping you accomplish a goal because it's work, health, daily routines, and where you are of service to others, where this luck is showing up for you. And remember, it's for placements between, I would say, 19 and 25 degrees of Aquarius or Cancer. Now, Pluto and Capricorn, at 24 degrees will be semi-sextile Juno and Sagittarius. An opportunity to transform through or because of a partnership is aspecting. Don't do it all yourself, okay? That's very, very important that you, this opportunity or assistance is here, but you have to go out and get it because it's a semi-sextile, okay? It's not necessarily just a sextile. So the opportunity is there, but you gotta kind of grasp it on your own and this is about your transformation in your area of romance um, romance creative endeavors and children with some type of partnership or marriage uh, or collaboration with someone in home and family okay so you collaborating with that someone in home and family is assisting you in a romance or assisting you in a romantic partner, assisting you in a child or with your child, assisting you within a creative endeavor, okay? Um, if you have placements between 21 and 27 degrees of Capricorn or Sagittarius, this is aspecting for you. Now, on Thursday, the sun is in Scorpio at five degrees. Put the effort in to pay attention to the details. Don't be lazy, okay? Being set in your ways can definitely cause arguments on this day as well. And your areas that square this area are secret, sacrifice, solitude, and closure, as well as work, health, daily routines, and where you are of service to others. So if you have any placements between, I would say, 2 and 8 degrees of Scorpio, Aquarius, or Leo, this is aspecting you to... You know, put in the effort, pay attention to the details, and don't uh, be too set in your ways because it could cause fights, especially with uh, people at work, your networks of people, a sibling. You know, just watch the communication there, okay? You want to be very mindful of that. Even during travel, you don't want to be, uh, you know, arguing with people uh, during your daily routines, okay? Now, put in the work in your solitude. Okay, so you can definitely uh, come out on top. All right. Now, that being said, we also have an angle where um, Leo, your area of secret sacrifice and solitude is clashing with communication and siblings. It's clashing with your networks of people. OK, it's clashing with neighbors or something like that. So you could get into an argument uh, anywhere between there or those people could be talking behind your back and gossiping about you and circulating your business around the neighborhood and things like that. So if you find out somebody has been talking crap about you, you know, lay down your sword. Don't even worry about it. Block them. You know, you can't let everybody throw you out of alignment because that's when you get your chakras um, unaligned and that's when you're not able to manifest what it is you mean to bring in. So be very mindful of that. If you get upset, calm down quickly, listen to some music to get you high vibe and, you know, no worries. Don't worry about it. Okay. That's if you have any placements between two and eight degrees, like I said, uh, in Scorpio or Leo. Now. The moon in Leo, once it gets to seven degrees, it's going to aspect some type of restrictions or responsibilities being placed on you at work uh, as it pertains, restrictions as it pertains to your health during your daily routines, maybe where you're of service to other people. There's something in the background. You might, be have, you might have to work in your solitude. You might have to sit in your solitude because of health. Um, because it's clashing or it's aspecting secret sacrifice and solitude where some restriction or responsibility is popping up for you if you have placements between I would say Leo uh, between I'm sorry between four and ten degrees of Leo or Aquarius now Venus at 22 degrees um, 
of Sagittarius will sextile Jupiter in Aquarius. This is a lucky opportunity for you to enjoy romance, finances, and pleasure. If you're out and about with friends, you know, or you're out and about with home and family um, uh, during your daily routines, try not to get jealous, especially if it's your significant other. You know, if somebody has the eyes for them or something like that, you're out already having fun, keep it, you know, on a good note. If you have uh, any aspects uh, as to this having fun and going out um, in Sagittarius or Aquarius between 19 and 25 degrees, this is aspecting for you. Now on Friday, the sun in Scorpio at six degrees uh, says that money could fall in your lap. This is about money being communicated to you through your networks of people, maybe a sibling, maybe even uh, a neighbor. OK, but if it's money aspecting you, it's going to be in your sector of Libra or Aries, because those are your sectors of money, share finances and even personal finances. So if you have placements in Scorpio, Libra or Aries between three and nine degrees, this could be aspecting you for some type of money to come your way. OK. Uh, also on Friday. In the morning around 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, the moon in Leo at 13 degrees is gonna square Uranus and Taurus. If you're not ready or qualified to do something, don't say you are. Don't volunteer yourself for something all of a sudden if something pops up. Don't volunteer yourself to jump up and uh, defend somebody if you don't even know what's going on. This is about what you think and preach, your education and skills. This is about things at a distance from you as well. And it's clashing with secret sacrifice, solitude. Okay, so if you do this, you might have to sit in your solitude. OK, and, and then you might not be able to do it. You might have other obligations. You might have a clash to where people are in the background gossiping about you because you told them you would do something and then you didn't do it. If you have placements in Leo or Taurus between 10 and 16 degrees, this is aspecting you. So be very mindful of that. OK, and, and don't be so quick to jump and defend someone at a distance from you if you don't really know what happened. Now, the moon in Leo at 16 degrees will sextile Lilith in Gemini. Yours or someone else's natural instinct to assist is in view. This could be an opportunity to gain power over someone else. Now, this is your area of secret sacrifice and solitude as it pertains to um, career. OK, so you could be working in your solitude, assisting someone, helping them behind the scenes, um, helping them gain healing or closure but this is this could be where you are trying to get you know get an in or get over power over someone else maybe even a, a use a secret against them or have a secret on them or they could be doing this to you okay so if you have placements between 13 and 19 degrees of leo or gemini this is aspected for you <laughs> where those natural instincts to gain power could overtake you now Last but not least on Friday, the moon in Leo at 18 degrees is going to sextile Mercury in Libra. Someone communicates some assistance to you behind the scenes. It could be a secret. You know, they could be making a sacrifice for you. Um, you could even be helping someone and working in your solitude to help someone else. OK, but this is about your area of money and resources. Someone is lending you money or resources or you're lending them money or resources. If you have placements in Leo or Libra between 15 and 21 degrees okay let's move along to saturday the last transits i want to talk about there's quite a few on saturday now the scorp the sun is going to be in scorpio at seven degrees this is a day where rewards can be attained or justice can be had but also where one must remain faithful and love or faithful period to whoever they should be faithful to, whether it's a sibling, someone in your networks of people, a neighbor, um, uh, you know, faithful to what you said you were going to do. Maybe it's, you know, you said you were going to take someone somewhere. It could deal with short, short distance travel. It could deal with communication. But jealousy can rear its ugly head, even around neighbors or in the neighborhoods. Um, the areas that clash with that are you know, secret sacrifice and solitude and spirituality behind the scenes, as well as work, health, daily routines, and where you are of service to others. So 
during your daily routines or maybe even out and about around the neighborhood, jealousy could rear its ugly head from you or your lover or someone around you at work. They could be upset. You know, if you have any placements between 4 and 10 degrees of Scorpio, Aquarius, or Leo, watch out for that because those are the areas of contention there, okay? Now, justice could be had too. Justice could be communicated to you through a sibling, through someone in your networks of people, a neighbor, about a neighborhood, or even uh, during short distance travel as well. If you have placements between 4 and I would say um, 10 degrees. Okay, just as the I just doubt if the justice will be had in your sector of uh, work, health and daily routines or Leo, because that's where the contention is. Um, it will be another area where you will have justice coming in for you. Okay, but it will be between that four and 10 degrees. So just look at your chart and check out where you have those placements. The sun in Scorpio at seven degrees will square Saturn in Aquarius. Restrictions and responsibilities can clash with your area of Scorpio. This is your area of communication, siblings, short distance travel, your networks of people. There's some type of obligation, some type of restriction or responsibility that is being placed on you. And it's pertaining to work, health, daily routines, and where you are of service to others. You may have to put yourself of service to others. You may have to do something for someone during your daily routines, run errands for somebody. But it's going to be a clash for you, you know, but I mean, you you, you got to do what you got to do, okay? If you have placements between 4 and 10 degrees of Aquarius or Scorpio, this is aspecting for you on Saturday. Now, the moon in Leo will sextile Mars in uh, Libra at 29 degrees. So assistance or opportunities to overcome challenges within a partnership surfaces where one may have misjudged the severity of a situation. If you have placements in Leo or Libra between 26 and 29 degrees or even going over into Scorpio at zero degrees um, or even uh, I would say uh, Virgo at zero or one degree, you could have some help overcoming some type of challenges um, in the background. You know, it could be secrets, sacrifice, solitude. Someone could be sacrificing for you. It could be a secret, someone helping you out behind the scenes. But this has to do with money and resources for you, okay? Um, you could also be helping someone with money or resources. It just, it just depends on, you know, how that how that flips, now, Venus in Sagittarius will semi-sextile Pluto and Capricorn at 24 degrees, so don't burn the candle at both ends on Saturday. Uh, a healthy dose of work and play is recommended. If you have placements between 21 and 27 degrees of Capricorn or Sagittarius, this is aspecting for you to receive um, some type of assistance. Um, like the, assist, the assistance or opportunity is there, but you have to grasp it on your own because it's a semi-sextile, okay? So uh, it's not like somebody's just gonna offer it to you. Now, this is about home and family and um, romance, creative endeavors, and children, okay? So if you need help, with a, uh, ask a romantic partner, ask a child. You know, if you need to work on your creative endeavor, there's help out there for you. Um, you know, I know people want to have fun with you. Your children want to have fun and things like that. You're going to have that opportunity to do that. But um, balance out that work and play. OK, balance out that work and play. If you have those placements between that 21 and 27 degrees of Capricorn or uh, Sagittarius. Now, Mercury and Libra will aspect Neptune and Pisces at 20 degrees. Communication within a partnership can be kind of, you know, fragmented because of someone's imagination. Plotting, gossiping can hinder one's transformation. Focus on putting in the work as opposed to meaningless chatter. It, uh, it's, you know, it could be someone doing this to you as well. And the communication is going on in your sector of, uh, or about your sector of money and resources, okay? Um, it's, maybe someone is delusional about your money and your resources. Um, it, this could be uh, someone, you know, that you have a relationship with someone you have a partnership with and they could be plotting against you because they maybe they're jealous of how much money you have maybe you are um 
having some delusions within a relationship as far as money and resources and what should the, the give and take. If you have placements between 17 and 23 degrees of Libra or Pisces, this is definitely aspecting for you. Now, on October the 30th, Mars, the planet of energy and challenges, enters Scorpio at zero degrees. Mind your temper, okay? Conflicts can arise, all right? Now, if you have placements between zero and three degrees of Scorpio, you're going to feel this out the gate as soon as Mars moves into Scorpio on Saturday. But it's going to move throughout. It's going to be there throughout November, okay? So you're not only going to experience uh, challenges in your area of communication, siblings, short distance travel, and your networks of people. But you're also going to have blessings when you put in the work. You're also going to have assistance, but you have to put in the work and the effort, okay? Let's talk about the blessings, assistance, and the friction that you can see throughout November that pertains to your area of communication, siblings, short distance travel, and your networks of people. The friction is all going to be at work, health, daily routines, and where you are of service to others, behind the scenes, secret sacrifice and solitude. You having to put in extra work to work in your solitude. You um, having people gossiping about you at work. You having to put more energy into short distance travel. Maybe you have to help someone, a sibling, even get back and forth to work or someone in your networks of people get back and forth to work. Um, make sure you check travel arrangements going back and forth to work because you could see delays in traffic, stuck in traffic, getting to work late and things like that. Those are, are, are things that are aspecting you. Arguments with neighbors, neighbors gossiping about you. Um, you having trouble attaining closure with a sibling or healing with a uh, with a sibling or a neighbor. Um, those are the things that you could, you know, have challenges with. Now, if you put in the hard work with communication, siblings, neighbors, and your networks of people, even short distance travel, you can have blessings come in through friends and social groups where they're going to help you accomplish goals. The people you have relationships will show up for you if you show up for them. You also have assistance and opportunities coming directly to you through romance, creative endeavors, and children. So if you put in the work, you could ha go out with a love partner. You can meet a love partner around your neighborhood. You could hang out with your friends and things like that. You might even have to put more energy into hanging out with your friends around the neighborhood or calling your friends to go out with them. Maybe you have to call them one or two times because they're busy, you know, and they make you actually put in that extra effort to get them to come out, you know, with you. Uh, even if you want to go out with a lover and you need to find a babysitter, you're going to have to put that work in to get that sibling <laughs> to, uh, you know, babysit for you and things like that. So those are the, but the opportunities and assistance is there just like the blessings are. Um, thank you so much for rocking with me. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Uh, stay tuned for the tarot portion of your reading. I love you guys. God bless you. Hello, Virgo, someone or rising sign people. E. Ray Taronic here with your tarot portion of your reading for the week of October 24th. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the like button. Show me some love for the energy I am putting out. Let's talk about your week. It's permeated by the King of Wands. You could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, uh, moon or rising person. Um, or this could just be the angels, ancestors, and spirit guides telling you to be or embody this king of wands. Natural born leader. A person who doesn't make demands of others but shares ideas and energy with those close to him. He's an honorable king and people enjoy his presence. It doesn't have to be a man. The cards are non-gender. I just say that because it's a man on the card. You could be a woman and still be honorable and a natural born leader <laughs> um, and appreciate it. So um, let's talk about the scenarios here. The first scenario that I got that I want to talk about is the second chance or judgment that is coming through. Okay, this second chance, uh, anytime there's a second chance, you're always prompted 
uh, or advised to examine your role in the situation. But there's some type of judgment coming through that allows you to have some more um, foresight about uh, something. Events are speeding up, projects, the development of projects are speeding up. Um, this is about creative approaches to problem solving. But because of this judgment, you're able to do this. You're able to look out for expansion and things like that. Where you thought or where you felt like something was stolen from you or taken from you or, uh, you know, someone in a situation was uh, deceiving you, you know, um, where there's a lack of trust in a situation, okay? There's a second second judgment coming through and a new journey aspecting you. Of course, the, within the new journey, you're naive. Um, you know, you don't know what, what's ahead of you, but this new journey is aspecting you, okay? Now, there was some type of misdirected passion obsession with money, greed, materialism, or either an obsession with a person. It could be. You could be a Capricorn, moon or rising person as well. Or this could just be some type of obsession or unhealthy love affair or... I think it's an obsession with with you manifesting some type of money offer, prosperity, financial gifts, uh, some type of material gain. Okay, um, your some obsession with uh, manifesting this empress. The empress is about uh, she's a stable for good relationships. Uh, she's fertile. She's abundant. Hmm. Yeah, you're kind of obsessed with this, even this week. You're obsessed with manifesting this, either this abundance and good relationship or this uh, woman, you know, and, there, and there's some type of unhealthy obsession there. You want to look at that. Um, that, that misdirected passion, Be beware of that. You're at the nine of wands with something. You're persevering through something. Uh, your faith is being tested. And you have a lot of options at your disposal about a partnership. Not all of the options at your disposal are going to give you what you need. All the pots aren't filled with gold. Some are filled with snakes, trickery. Um, so... Be you know, you beware of being fanciful as to you, the choices that you have ahead of you and beware of, um, you know, it could be even a partnership. Okay. So either you're choosing who to partner with and you got to partner with the right person and be careful. Don't, don't invest in the wrong person now, but, or a partnership is bringing you a lot of options. And your faith is tested here. This is where you've had to persevere. And now this partnership is aspecting this week. Okay. Now your, um, your challenge and advice this week is uh, permeated by the eight of wands. And that talks about action, speed, travel, progress, maybe even fast communication. Okay. But your challenge is laying down your swords and stopping the fight. Okay, rest, reflection, contemplate why you're fighting. Because the five of swords talks about choosing your battles wisely and wasting your energy fighting for something um, that might not even be worth it. So now you're taking time to sit back and contemplate as more news uh comes your way about the hard work you've done this is your challenge okay you 
Hmm. Or maybe even this is a fight you're having. And the challenge is, is, is you really thinking about where to go, what to do from here. Because this, the path is only partially illuminated about the hard work you've put in. Okay. Your advice is to stick in there. Submit yourself at the top of a hill because you are the magician. The magician is an alchemist. The magician uses his skills to cultivate what he wants to cultivate, to manifest what he wants to manifest, he or she. The magician has all the tools he needs at his disposal, the wands, the swords, the cups, and the pentacles to create the new journey that um, he or she wants to create. So believe in yourself. Submit yourself at the top of a hill and create be the deliberate creator. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. I love you guys. Thank you for sticking in there with me. And I appreciate you listening to the channel. I'll see you next week. Bye now.